Hey guys, and welcome back to the only channel bringing you BMET tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. All right, so you knocked out day five today, which means you've only got 12 days of course one left. Today in class, we discussed parallel resistive circuits. Three concepts we focused on were calculating current, voltage, and resistance. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we learned today. So one of the first things we did is we identified parallel circuits as current dividers. So current is gonna flow from the negative terminal to the first branch, and then is proportionately divided between each individual branch. The branch with the most resistance will have the least current flow, and the branch with the least resistance will have the most current flow. Now we can use Ohm's law to find the individual current flow for each branch. So we just take applied voltage, and then we divide that by the individual resistance value of each branch. So applied voltage divided by R1, that gives us the current for branch one, so on and so forth. Total current can be found by adding the individual branch currents together, IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3, and that'll give you total current. If we know that a parallel circuit is known as a current divider, applied voltage is measured across each individual branch. Therefore, we can say that voltage is constant in parallel. Notice here in circuit B that we have two resistors in series with each other in branch one. What we're gonna do first is add resistors R1 and R2 in branch one. Now the total resistance for branch one is eight K ohms of resistance. 80 volts divided by eight K ohms of resistance gives you a current flowing through that branch of 10 milliamps. 10 milliamps times the individual resistance in branch one will give you the voltage drops of each resistor. Calculating an RE in a parallel circuit, you can utilize the applied voltage over a total current formula, or you can use the reciprocal method to calculate for a resistive equivalent. Troubleshooting can always be challenging, but if you follow this guide, it'll be super easy. When we discussed opens in class, we said that they would be identified as a component being removed from the circuit. When troubleshooting an open in a parallel circuit, three things will happen. Current will decrease, resistance equivalent, or RE, will increase, and all branches will measure applied voltage. If you recall, a short is replacing a component with a wire. When this occurs, IT is gonna increase to max, RE decreases to zero, and all branches of the circuit will measure zero volts. Another thing about a short in a parallel circuit is that it will kill the entire circuit. Now the last malfunction that we can have is a change value. This will be identified by an increase or decrease in IT. Likewise, RE will increase or decrease inversely of what IT does. Remember Ohm's law? Only the change values branch current will change and the rest of the branches will stay the same. All right guys, today we recapped the basics of voltage, current, and resistance in a parallel circuit. We reviewed how to calculate those values and then we went over a little bit of troubleshooting. That's it for day five. As always, stay classy and keep your head up.